The Brendan Branch, otherwise known as Edwards Branch Line, serves the island of Soda with its china clay, its fish and passengers. The Branch Line has four engines that run the line. Their names are Edward, Boko, Bill, Ben and Porter. Recently, the Branch Line had begun to fall behind with freight work. One afternoon, Boko arrived at Wellsworth later than usual. Wait again, Boko? I know, Edward. Evan was late from the main line. This is not good at all. We're falling behind on orders. We need some help. Agreed, but I don't think Mr. Melvin, Ms. Hatt, or the manager of Vickerstown could spare one of the engines. Oh, by the way, Boko, shouldn't you have left for the clay pits? Oh my giddy engine, I got to get going. That night, Edward recounted his early conversation with Boko to the steam team. You're kidding. I knew that Diesel was pulling that wretched branch line down. I'll have to disagree, James. The Brendan branch engines are doing their best, but even so... You need help. Well, who will help you on the branch line, Edward? What about Rainbow Sun? He's too big for the line. Well, what about Shane? The engines looked at Emily disappointed. No offense, Emily, but your friend can be a bit of a handful. I agree with that. As you're saying, I'm the little rafting and he will complain about pulling truck, not coaches. At this point, I might as well just take what I can get. And that's what happened. Mr. Melvin agreed to send Sophia to the Brendan branch. Hello, Eddie, Nettie. Well, hello, Shane. Thank you for coming on such short notice. You must head to the clay pits and- <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I thought I was pulling coaches. I'm sorry, Shane, but you're got to do what you are told. Come on, Eddie, you've known me for so long. Let me pull coaches. I'm sorry, Shane, but we don't need help on the passenger revenue. So should I get Mr. Melvin involved? Fine, have it your way. And Shane headed off to the clay pits fuming. When he got there, he saw Boko, Bill and Ben just getting ready. Cut. <laughs> Typical. Two tank engine tw wins. A clapped out diesel can't even get the quarry in working order. No wonder this branch line's falling apart. The twins were mortified and hurt by Shane's comment. If you want to work here, you got to learn how to use kinder words. Eh hey, yeah, just get my train ready. And for the rest of the day, Shane complained about his work, and it was getting on the Brendan Branch engine's nerves. Boko arrived at Chidmouth Sheds that evening. Well, how was having Shane on your branch line, Boko? Horrible. Just horrible. He complained six times today about the trucks. And when Bill and Bez said nice paintwork when he had a bit of clay dust on him, he went livid and said, No wonder Mr. Elvin keeps you away from the main line. I was soothing hurt feelings for nearly two hours. I will admit, it could say it in a different way, but still. Someone should teach that little fellow a lesson. A good American lesson. Edward said he would talk to Shane, but I doubt he'll get anywhere. And sure enough, Boko was right. Try as Edward might, Shane still pushed trucks instead of pulling coaches. Oh, come on, Shane. You were here to help us with the freight work, not passenger works. Now do I have to get Mr. Melvin involved, or will you do as you are told? It'll be your word against mine, old timer. And with that, Shane went soundly to sleep, leaving a furious Edward awake all night. Early that morning, Shane had a plan. And that plan was to get all the trucks on the line and take it to Farquhar and have them deal with it. The trucks had had enough of Shane's complaints about the coaches, and the trucks oh, were planning a trick on him as payback. Uh, what is he doing? Taking the cars to Farquhar. He does know that we get more trucks coming in on a day to basis, right? Yeah. Then there was trouble. The engines heard a loud snap and a crash, and saw Shane on the ground and off the track. Steam hissed everywhere. I'll get Mr. Melvin. Well, I'll get Rocky, and we'll, we'll keep, keep him company. company.
Well, it turns out that you still haven't put aside your passenger dream of yours. I guess I need to make your dreams come true. When you're finished being repaired, head to Napford Station. I'll give you your so-called passenger dream once you're, once you're getting ready. Shane was thrilled. So you're rewarding Shane with bad behavior? Not exactly. But as for work for you two, Edward, as for putting up with Shane's so-called remarks, I've got two new engines for your team. They'll help you with all the work that you need to keep back up on your freight traffic. I know you thought we weren't paying attention, but I've noticed your decrease. Ah, here they are now. Say hello to Fonsworth and Bluebird. And Edward, take good Later care. that night, Edward told the other engines about how the branch line was back up to date. That's great, Edward. I'm proud of you. I'm just wondering how Shade is doing. Let's just say Edward Shane got what he deserved. What do you mean? What Gordon meant was that Shane did get to pull coaches and also push them too. He was relegated to shunt at Knapford Yard for his outburst. I think he learned his lesson about complaining. Don't you?